Hey guys, how's it going? I want to talk to you about uh, the Ram Eco Diesel. This is a 2017, but I'm pretty sure that this problem is from 2013 to current. I can't be 100% sure on that as, like I said, this is a 2017, but I'm pretty sure it's the same code for all the years. Um, I've been beating my head against a wall this entire time trying to find videos and trying to find all kinds of information on this so if you end up with the check engine light and it is uh, p245b and it is for the egr bypass valve and you're trying to figure out what it is how you can diagnose it and what the issue is it's uh actually a little bit simpler than what i thought but yeah after a lot of diagnosing i figured it out so you're going to remove your air box here first so undo all of your all of your tabs here right so just for your air box there's four of them and so i've already disconnected my mass airflow and so don't worry about taking off any of these first two hose clamps just take off the third one from the air box you're going to remove your air box and i've already removed the top plastic piece there just so it's out of my way and then what you're going to do once you get those off i've already loosened off that hose clamp there so then i'm just going to pull on it gently and it's going to come loose you're going to pull this whole air box just out of the way stick it somewhere where it's not going to fall and scratch your paint grab this piece here and pull it off now you're looking at this and it looks overwhelming but what you're going to be looking for is this piece right here so that is the EGR bypass valve actuator and it is vacuum actuated. So right down here, you can see that this rod here that comes out of it actually turns this. So on this one, I can tell right away because you can see how I'm pushing on it and it should actually go up into that actuator, but it is not. It is something broken internally. But let's say you can push it into there. Now you're trying to figure out, is that actually the problem? So this up here, I'm just gonna reach up here so you can see this hose right here. This is your vacuum line and this, so when it fails, it's gonna fail in the off position, meaning that back here through here, all of your EGR, your exhaust gases are just going to go away from the motor. And they're supposed to actually come through and then through this piece here, down into your intake and then back into your motor. And so there's, a lot of reasons why I won't necessarily get into that. That's not what this video is about. But when you're trying to figure out how you can know if that EGR bypass valve actuator is good or bad, there is what is called the diaphragm inside of it. And so the diaphragm is basically just a rubber seal. And so when you apply vacuum to it, it should hold vacuum and pull up this rod. Now it's only gonna pull up that rod on uh, like idle or partial vacuum. It's not going to induce a whole lot of vacuum when you're actually going, you know, higher speeds or anything like that. So one thing that you could try is without putting this on, just put your, your air uh, box on with the line there and hook it back up to here. Hook your mass airflow sensor back on because otherwise you'll get a light for the mass airflow. And then, so with all of this open, your stuff will only come to here so you'll actually be able to still see the actuator there fire it up and just come back over as quick as you can and at idle watch and see if if this actually comes up into there if it actually goes all the way up then you might have a different problem now if that's not working and you're still like i'm not sure that line i can't show you right now because i've got kind of a lot of stuff in the way here but so this, this line here that comes off of here actually comes to the front, right in front of the coolant here. So you can see this line right here. So that simply just pulls off of there. And all that it is is just a T. I'll give you a picture. And so it just goes right down onto here. So you pull that T off. It's really easy to see if you climb up there and you got lots of light, you can follow that line. But there's just a lot of stuff in the way here. It's just kind of hard to show you. But you can see actually I'm, I'm wiggling it. So right, right here, you can see the line right underneath the injectors there. So I'll wiggle it one more time for you now that I showed you. 
And so that line actually comes all the way over there. And you, now you can see the EGR bypass valve moving as I pull it. So what you do is you climb up there, you put your lips on that and you blow and suck and you should actually have a seal in there. You shouldn't be able to blow easily and you shouldn't be able to suck easily. It should actually be a sealed unit. This one is not. Now I don't have the new part for it. Um, I'm going to be getting that here shortly and then that way I can show you uh, the differences of that uh, the, the push rod here on the bottom of the actuator actually moving up and down. So that'll be like a, like a part two to this video. But once again, I really wanted to make a video because I've been having this issue for quite some time. And uh, like I, I'm an automotive mechanic, but uh, I don't work on diesels and I'm not too familiar with diesels. So, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a learning curve having to figure all this stuff out. But I was looking all over the place and I could not find a video where somebody actually explained this to me without, you know, some long spiel about, you know, simply all the EGR stuff, right? I know what the EGR does. It's been here for a long time, but this uh, EGR bypass valve, what is that? What's its purpose and where the heck do I find it? Well, here we go. So I figured I'd finally make a video for everybody. So hopefully this helps anybody with that uh, trouble code. Uh, what is it again? P245B. And so once again, that is EGR bypass valve. Hope this helps. Stay, uh, stay, stay watching for the part two. Thanks, guys.